Okay, let's simplify the fraction 6 sixteenths. And here's how we'll do it. We're looking for another fraction that's equal. It's equivalent to 6 over 16. It's just we put it in lowest terms. So let's find a common factor that goes into 6 and into 16. So these are the factors for 6 and 16. If I look at the factors, this 2 here seems to be the greatest factor that goes into both 6 and 16. So let's move this over here. So we could divide 6 by 2. That gives us 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 16 divided by 2, that's 8. So we simplified 6 sixteenths down to 3 eighths. And we can't reduce this any further. There is one more way we can think about this. You could say 2 times 3, that equals 6. And 2 times 8, that equals 16. Since we have 2 in the top and the bottom, we can cross that out. And we're left with 3 eighths. That's what we got before. And if you divide 6 by 16 and 3 by 8, you'll get the same number. They're equivalent fractions. It's just that we've simplified or reduced 6 sixteenths down to 3 eighths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.